Though the Bluegrass Pipeline project is on hold, the Williams Company and Boardwalk Pipeline Partners have filed an appeal of the Franklin County Court decision that occurred last March, a decision that declared the company does not have eminent domain rights. Eminent domain is the government power to acquire private property for public purposes. Political science professor Dr. Edward Yeager discussed how a private company could have eminent domain rights. So with, with public benefit, then the, it can be a, the private property can be acquired by the government and then given to a private corporation or entity to uh, improve the quality, see, of that property providing a greater benefit through job creation, but it's not quite the same, and so, and so therefore the controversy has been generated. While the pipeline company never used eminent domain, a group called Kentuckians United to Restrict Eminent Domain, or CURE, sued the pipeline company to resolve whether or not it had eminent domain power. These landowners had, had been told the company has eminent domain power. Since the, the laws in Kentucky were unclear, the group, we got started because we wanted to, you know, clarify, um, we wanted to protect our property rights. Matthew DeMarcus, a lawyer representing landowners dealing with the pipeline, agreed with Judge Shepard's ruling. Natural gas liquids are not oil or gas, and the Kentucky Revised Statute 278.502 would require that it fall within one of those two definitions. In addition, the Bluegrass Pipeline Company is not a public utility that is regulated by the Kentucky Public Service Commission and because of those factors combined, the uh, pipeline company certainly does not enjoy the right of eminent domain. Oil and gas products are given eminent domain rights under Kentucky law because those products are used to produce energy, which would serve a public benefit. In January, House Bill 31 was introduced. The bill clarified that natural gas liquids are different than oil and gas products. Natural gas liquids are made up of hydrocarbons, such as ethane, propane, and butane, which are used to develop various products, including plastics. Under House Bill 31, any natural gas liquid project would not have the right of eminent domain because natural gas liquids are used to create products and not energy. The bill passed the House with 75 votes, but the Senate didn't vote on it before the end of the legislative session. Tom Fitzgerald, the lawyer who represents CURE, believes that if the court ruling is upheld, the lack of legislation won't matter. And hopefully get a good, solid decision from the Court of Appeals that would give this case statewide effect. Fitzgerald says all the preliminary forms for the appeals case have been filled out and the briefing process will come next. I reached out to the Williams Company about the eminent domain issues and contacted Keith Isbell, the senior communications specialist with the company. He said that the legal counsel for the company thought it would be inappropriate for someone from the project to offer any comments on the subject matter at this time. Reporting on Kentucky Politics, I'm Dakota Sherrick.